Um, Last up, we've got It's Barely News, where we go yeah. through some of the stories that we didn't want to list in the main listing. They're probably not that interesting, but we can get through them and we'll let you know about them because uh, there were at least enough to list. Mm -hmm. So first up, we've got a, a company called Drone Prep, which drone is prep. a delivery a drone delivery company who is working with the Royal Mail in the UK, um, and they've done the first delivery of official mail uh, and supplies through the Royal Mail uh, to different islands in the UK and the surrounding areas there, uh, oh. to the Isles of Sicily. Oh, um, yeah. So they are they're saying that already they're saving money uh, because of the cost of the plane flights that they were doing and how often they're doing them, and they think this is going to be a uh, a huge boon for the area and make it easier to get this stuff around. So pretty cool. It's very interesting that that's that's potentially one of the weird places where drones make the most sense, like. It's hard to imagine that you loading up a plane and flying a plane once a day, like given the amount of cargo a drone can carry, uh, it's hard to imagine that it's cheaper than a plane to fly a drone. But, you know, a small remote island with not many people, maybe it makes more sense to fly drones, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what they're saying. Yeah, they are the like the, you know, more like the, um, you know, the long range drones are like a wing, you know, yeah. uh, sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool to see this stuff happening. And the other thing they mentioned is that they were losing a lot of money and time because they couldn't fly in the fog. Um, and oh. these drones can do that. There's no oh, sight well, yeah. to worry about. Well, so. and there's no person on board. We lose the mail. Yeah. Big deal. Exactly um, right. Uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, what's up next? And it's barely next news. up, uh, the FAA has cleared another site. We just wanted to let you know that we've talked about this stuff before. But the FAA has cleared another site. Um, uh, for the New York Drone Corridor uh, for BPLS uh, UAS operations, which means that um, now there are more operations that can happen beyond a visual line of sight uh, without uh, without any restrictions. So this is basically a big area they, they cordon off, and they say, hey, if you want to do drone tests here, whatever you're trying to do, you can do them in these areas. And this is the seventh area um, they've set up. So pretty cool. Yeah, oh, very nice. Uh, somewhere where people can do beyond visual line of sight legally. Yeah, they got to do testing on the stuff, so we got a bunch of places for them to do it. All righty. Next up. Yeah, next up we've got um, some farmers are turning to drones to monitor livestock and crops as floodwaters are isolating their paddocks. Basically, a bunch of farmers were flooded out of their homes um, in New Zealand, and uh, they're using drones to go check on all their livestock and make sure everything's okay. Um, in lieu of having to like try to get back there and not know what's going on. So yeah. I think that's uh, that's pretty cool. They can decide what to do based on uh, drones and uh, save a lot of time and hassle. Yeah, they're able to see you know how close the livestock is to being surrounded by water and whether they should get them out of there. Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, always good to hear stories about drones helping animals. That's, that's just the best stories we ever share. Uh, we got one more. We got a drone that lifts a human. Yeah, uh, for fishing, uh, in fact. Of course. So these guys, these guys built uh, what they're calling the world's first, and it might be true. Uh, I was at this video. Uh, they built a uh, a drone to lift people. So and okay. they go through some of their stuff they worked on. Um, this reminds me of. Do you remember the balloon guy, balloon man? Yeah, 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 yeah. That took oh, off God. In the chair. oh God! Oh God! Oh, that's going to be expensive. Jesus! <laughs> oh man. So they went through a lot of testing before they put a person under it, for sure. Sure. Um, but yeah, they finally got it to the point where uh, they could get somebody picked up. And uh, and their project to do with it was to pick a guy up and have him fish off of the uh, off of a chair and drink a beer off the chair, um, <laughs> hanging from the drone. So it's always good to do these things over water. Yes, you know? hundred percent. It's a good yeah, good choice. If anything goes so. wrong, you just bail. Yeah. Ah, that is a meaty drone. Like, what do they, a lot what of is drone. their day job that they can afford to build this drone? I don't know. Over this, and over again, right? The channel has 4.42 thousand subscribers, so it's not their YouTube channel. How does a channel with 4,000 subscribers build something like this? Who are these? I'm going to guess it does, does not come from the, yeah, it comes from personal fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god that's amazing. pretty cool stuff not very effective for the job right oh sure you mean of fishing 
Yeah, not 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 going to actually help with fishing much. No, I mean, tell me, I'm no expert on. <laughs> I know you actually know a thing or two about fishing. I'm going to guess that the drone is scaring away the fish. That's yeah, that's accurate. That's an accurate like statement. It. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Well. Uh, I, I imagine these guys' inbox is full of people asking them, can you build me drone that can carry two kilogram over a secured area? That's right very now? true. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, and that is the last story of the night. <laughs>